Snowden yeah, this is the so. This is information after this is Snowden's game. homie, bro. Yeah, so uh, Snowden leaked all the information after 9 11 that we were basically spying on us. So apparently, every time this interview gets put on YouTube, it gets taken down. So, like, if there's any video of it or anything, they take it down immediately. They don't let it happen, they don't let it air in the U.S. at all. Hmm. This interview with Snowden. So, check this shit out. This shit's pretty crazy, bro. James Clapper directly lie under oath to Congress. What we do not do is spy unlawfully on Americans or for that matter spy indiscriminately on the citizens of any country. We only spy for ballot That's his name Cracker. That's what this ha no this We're this hacker's name on here his right. name's Cracker. Sure we don't abuse our authorities. Cracker yeah. and default are livid. Cracker and other hackers Cracker and default. The CWA team up to target more high ranking members of the intelligence community. They want to embarrass them and to show them that they aren't as powerful as they think they are. She's crazy, At the top bro. of their list is John Brennan, head of the CIA. I think that's the guy that fucking Trump fired. Really? Brennan, like Clapper, has enough information online that he basically doxes himself. Look at how he gets Clapper this fool's information and leaks his shit, and bro. Finds out Shit's it's a crazy. Verizon number. He calls up Verizon's internal tech support. And pretends to be an on-site technician who's having trouble helping a customer on site. Tech support asks Crack for his employee code, and he just makes one up on the spot. It works. The support technician provides Crack with access, and suddenly he has the account number, the PIN, and John Brennan's private email address. If you have just enough information on someone, pieced together from different sources, say their address and last four digits of their social security number, you can easily change the passwords on all kinds of accounts and take it over. Damn, bro. And that's exactly what Crack that's does nuts. with Brennan's AOL account. Once he's in the email account, Crack gets Brennan's private cell number and shares it with default. And so they start spam calling the director of the CIA oh, and relentlessly shit. calling him and his family. I told him he was a piece of shit. Basically, like, y'all are awful people. Like, really. Like, you're not doing any net positive things for the world. You're just not. John Brennan is freaked out. Sure, the calls are a little more than a prank, but how could he know that? At the time, nobody knew who was behind the calls or what their intentions were. Oh, Brennan has to lay low for a while in hiding with extra security details for himself so, and his family. Anyways, At the same time, Crack is breaching to Brennan's email, easy. gives him access to sensitive right. documents. Cracker first posts screenshots on Twitter, but then, egged on by default, and maybe asking himself, what would Snowden do? He decides to hit up WikiLeaks. Ooh. Julian Assange himself takes interest. They he killed the documents in October I think he's in jail, and they might have killed him already, they bro. They include Brennan's 47-page SF-86 application. Really? I think they killed him, Dave. Who's that? We'll talk about him documents. right after this. The form reveals his criminal history, psychological records, past drug abuse, and other details that nobody would want about themselves online. Not only that, from Brennan's emails, WikiLeaks publishes Bush-era recommendations for how the presidency should operate in the Middle East. Holy There's shit. also an internal congressional correspondence from the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence That's why they killed that him, offered bro. suggestions on how to make future interrogation methods, also known as torture, compliant and legal. Okay, so the pause this. Agents. Julian Assange, he was a reporter. Julian Assange started reporting shit about Iran. And how the United States started dealing with Iran and shit. How they're dealing with Iran and shit like that. And he made a report on one of the bigger, um, <clears throat> I want to say congressmen there. And uh, they found out. You know, they found out about it. And, bro, I think he's still in jail. And they, he might have in jail. But there's... What, what's his name? Julian Assange. I've heard of that but name. But check this out. So, in... Joe Rogan's podcast, I heard that they uh, they basically tortured him to death, bro. That's the, that's what I'm. I don't know if they killed him, but they they tortured him. It says Assange has been incarcerated in HM Prison, Balmarsh in London since April 2019, as the United States government extradition effort is contested in British courts. So he's locked up over there and fucking. London, bro. Yeah, but I think that's just a, like a a way to keep him over there. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, Julian Assange started a WikiLeaks whistleblower website on a quest for radical transparency and truth, a mission that turned an allegedly polarizing personality into a notorious character and earned him... Damn, bro. The long-running battle for extradition of the United States continued this month. The U.S. lawyers providing the U.K., High Court with a series of assertions around the 52-year-old WikiLeaks founder's First Amendment rights and that he, oh, First Amendment rights that he would not receive the death penalty if he were handed over. Wow, he's gonna get the death penalty, bro. It has since been 12 years. Australian has been able to walk since he has been able to walk freely. Damn, bro. He spent Damn, the bro. past five years in London in high security prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he fucking, he is a whistleblower, bro. He's like, he's like this guy, um, Snowden. He discovered a natural proficiency for commuting, oh, computing, but his activities, which included assessing several secure systems, including the Pentagon and NASA under the hacker ali alias Mendex. Soon, but him on the radar. Soon, put him on the radar. In 1991, he was charged with 31 counts of cybercrime by Australian authorities, but only received a small fine and a sentencing after pleading guilty to most of the charges. Following his brush with the law, Assange worked as a computer security consultant, traveled, and briefly studied physics at the University of Melbourne before withdrawing from the course. So he he's a smart motherfucker, and he knew some shit. That, he knows some shit that they don't want us to know. It says he leaked some shit that shouldn't have been leaked. It said uh, his vision w when starting WikiLeaks in 2000 was that it would be a kind of online respiratory, which would pu which would publish anonymous submitted documents, video, and other sensitive materials oh, after shit. vetting them. Damn, bro, that's fucking. So crazy. what does WikiLeaks still exist or? I don't think so. Look at look at an image taken from classified U.S. military footage shows a wooded. Iraqi person being loaded onto a van during a 2007 attack by Apache helicopters as released. So they killed innocent people, I think, bro. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Damn, so... I, I don't know if WikiLeaks is still open. Let's see. I'm trying to sl uh, scroll yeah. down and see if there's anything cool uh, at all. You know? Yeah. Repercussions. Far-reaching repercussions. Let's see what's up there. It says... uh. Five international media organizations that collaborated with Assange have called the U.S. government to end its persecution of him publishing classified material in a 2022 letter representatives to the New York Times and the Guardian. I'm not going to read all the other shit because I can't argue. Publish is not a crime. Publishing is not a crime. Obtaining and disclosing sensitive information when necessary in the public interest in a corp is a poor car core part of the daily work of journalists. If that work is criticized or public discourage and or democracies are made significantly weaker, the letter stated, damn, bro. This is scary. If the government is successful, no journalist will ever again be able to publish U.S. government secrets without risking their liberty. Holy fuck, man. So now let's, let's talk about this cracker dude, because he don't even really want to be known, bro. That's the thing like Well, obviously, he I wouldn't want to be known either. He went to jail for like he went to jail for like a year and that dude default went to jail for 5 years cuz of what he did. So it's crazy to think about, but they don't want anything to do with it, you know. Uh but this guy Cracker, he's like, "Yeah, I smoke a lot of weed and I sit in my house and I enjoy it." That's what he said. <laughs> and he says uh he wants to show people, like, when he was sitting in jail, all he could think about was like, damn, I just wanted to show people something that they didn't know, you know? Like, is it all worth it at the end of the day? Like, my freedom? Like, that's what he was saying. And he was like, it's just crazy, bro. Like, he was only 16 years old, Queso. A 16-year-old has been arrested on suspicion of being cracker, the hacker believed to have broken into the CIA director's email account, publicly releasing data belonging to FBI and Homeland Security agents. In a statement released by the Southeast Regional Organized Crime Unit, the UK agency said a 16-year-old was arrested on February 9th in the East Midlands for suspicion of conspiracy to commit unauthorized access to computer material contrary to Section 1 Computer Misuse Act of 1990. Damn, Cracker hit the media headlines in 2015 as a leader of a hackivist group, Cracker with Attitudes. Crackers with Attitudes. That's so he's out. 
Yeah, having breached with the AOL email account of CIA Director John Brennan, which was unwisely used as a respiratory for sensitive U.S. government intelligence projects. The CWA said social engineering techniques were used to break into the account. It has been reported that not only the personal email of the account of the CID, CIA Director been compromised, but sensitive data belonging up to 31,000 FBI Homeland Security and Department of Justice DOJ agents were released publicly via Twitter. Damn, he released all their shit, bro. So, that's it's probably why he got fucked. Says in January, the hacker also took responsibility for breaking into the personal emails of the U.S. Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, and his wife. The director's home telephone, internet services, and email accounts and were compromised. They only gave him five years, huh? Because he was a minor? Yep, leading to the reroute of calls intended for conducted by the CWA or linked through support. Free Palestine movement. That's great. So they took all this guy's emails and they sent them to the Free Palestine movement. And they also took his phone number and sent it to them. So they had he had like millions of people calling the CIA head of director and shit, bro. I'm surprised he didn't get fucking killed. <clears throat> The arrested teenager of being cracker reached out to motherboard denying he was the hacker in question and claiming that UK and US agents were trying to ruin his life. However, the teenager also said, I'm innocent until proven guilty, so I have, no I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, so fuck you! I'm innocent, bitch. We yeah. have no intentions of killing ourselves? It's not even that, bro. Like, what if one day, like, just because we talk about the shit that we talk about, you know, something happens to us? You know, we're just sitting here. <laughs> That's why, I'm, God, I got to get a gun. Fuck. Good thing, you know, good thing uh, I, I got, have some good bat skills. I got a good gun. I'm about Witch. to get another one. Witch. I wanted to get an a, AR, but. Has a hatchet upstairs, so you try to come after to my mom, motherfuckers. Just got the good throwing skills or what, Davey? You ever see my mom throw a fucking football? Bro, she's like fucking Uncle Rico. She could throw to the mountains, boy. <laughs> yeah, dude. For some reasons, mom have good, moms have good aim, huh? It's pretty Every fucked time up. Sometimes just fucking hit, pull out the chunk and whoosh, 30 feet away, and it still hits you right in the head. Wow. One time I was across the room, my mom fucking hit me with a penny right in the middle of the forehead. <laughs> it's fucked up. One time I was I was messing with my mom, and I, like, started running away, right? And I, like, ran too far. I'm telling you, I ran far. And she took off her chancla, and she threw it at me, bro. I kid you not, that <laughs> shit hit me in the head. What? <laughs> kid you Look not. out, man. I could not believe it. I started laughing, dude. I was like, yo, mom, what the fuck? She's like, you, th you thought you were going to run away, motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. But, I mean, I guess moms have good aim, man. So, uh, but <clears throat> in all seriousness, this is scary, bro, because if we fucking have to deal with this shit all the time, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is who we're dealing with, the CIA. Well, I didn't know this is the definition of a hacker are good people who hack devices and systems with good intentions. They might hack for a, spe a specified person, purpose or for obtaining more knowledge out of it. Crackers are people who hack systems by breaking into it and violating it with some bad intentions. <laughs> like, you know. So he ain't no NWA. hacker. NWA. So he ain't no hacker. He's a cracker. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> dude. <laughs> He'll crack crazy. your shit. That's what it means. I think he, like, cracks your safe and, you know what I'm saying? It says, Kevin Mitnick holds the title as the world's most famous hacker ever, with this title dating back to 1995 by the U.S. Department of Justice. Damn, that fool definitely got hit up by Anonymous right after that. He, right after he got out of jail. Who? I promise you. This dude. Kevin? Oh, yeah. Are you talking about Cracker? Cracker. So this is the thing, bro, is that he did all that, right? And uh, he was pretty much a part of the Anonymous group. He was. But he said he didn't want to be a part of it no more because everybody, there's like a shit ton of members. And he was like, and they took all the credit for like what he did basically. He was like how he hacked all, uh, got his emails and shit. They took so credit for it, to bro. Be known. Damn, that boy. Yeah. They need to make a movie about this motherfucker. I do, bro. Because it's crazy just to like think about like how the fuck did he log in to the Dairy Queen Wi-Fi? 
from five miles away from his house. How the fuck is that work? Satellites. 